NBC5 investigates. We're talking about a school shoot, shooting on a college campus the same week that we marked the 15th anniversary of the Northern Illinois University shooting. It is really eerie. Tonight we're going to hear from a survivor who's now helping other shooting victims cope. He talked to our Patrick Fazio. It'll always be a part of me, and it's always in my head. It does get easier as time goes on, but that scar is there forever. Patrick Corellis of Chicago copes with surviving the shooting at Northern Illinois University by talking to other victims. Talking about it helps because you just get all your feelings out there with people that have been through the same thing as you, and you just don't hold it in. Patrick was a student in class at Cole Hall Auditorium during the shooting on Valentine's Day 2008. When the gunman reloaded, Patrick ran for the door. I felt something hit me in the back of the head and I was bleeding. So I was holding my head. He shot again, again. Paramedics rushed him to the hospital. He still has shotgun pellets lodged in his skull 15 years later. The doctor said it was a few millimeters away from impacting um, any major nerve damage. So I got lucky with that. Five students, Gail Dabowski, Catalina Garcia, Juliana Gahant, Ryan Mace, and Daniel Parmenter died in the shooting. And more than a dozen others were wounded. NBC5 Investigates found a federal report on the shooting determined NIU police arrived in less than a minute after the first 911 call. By then, the gunman had already ended his own life. Officers who responded to the classroom also found about a half dozen or more students who were sitting in their seats in shock. I remember I froze when it happened, when I was hiding, I was frozen. Patrick says he understands why some of his classmates were frozen in shock during and after the shooting. The gunshots keep going and going and it's, you're just like panicking, like, what do I do, what do I do? Things were flashing in front of my face, my family, my friends, my life. Since that 2008 shooting, FBI statistics show active shootings across the U.S. have increased sharply, especially the last few years. From 2019 to 2020, there was a 33% increase in active shooter incidents, followed by a 52.5% increase from 2020 to 2021. After the NIU shooting, survivors heard from students at Virginia Tech. We experienced what you did. They had just gone through their own shooting the year before. That really resonated with me is having that support group, people that have been through what you did. Ever since, Patrick reaches out to new victims to help them cope as mass shootings continue to happen across the U.S. I just wish something could be done, and I don't want to keep having to keep talking to these victims over and over again and watch these numbers grow. I want the numbers to stop and everyone, you know, not to ever experience that. The professor teaching the NIU class at the time of the shooting just talked to us for his first ever TV interview. I realized I'd been shot, but I also realized I wasn't dead. And so I kept going. Hear what he's doing now and how he's trying to prevent future mass shootings. That's tomorrow night at 10 p.m. Patrick Fazio, NBC5 Investigates.